Hi guys, it's Hinda. Welcome to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video, we're going to be making a delightful dessert, a profiteroles trifle, the perfect dessert for any occasion. Well, profiteroles, also known as cream puffs, are a classic French pastry made with choux dough filled with vanilla and chocolate custard. And in the trifle form, when they are layered with even more custard cream, they become a truly irresistible treat. And before we start baking, if you are new to the channel, I always leave down in the description box under the video all the ingredients you're gonna need in both the grams and the cups measurements as well as a link to the full recipe where you could directly print it and save it and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified whenever a new recipe is up and let's get baking as a first step i'm gonna start by preparing the pata chou in a saucepan mix together the water with the milk sugar, salt and the butter. Bring it on the stove on a medium heat and allow the butter to melt and the milk to slightly start bubbling. Then go ahead and add all the flour in one go. And then go ahead and lower the heat. You want to have it on the minimum heat or you can completely turn off the heat and keep the saucepan on the hot stove. Use a spatula or a wooden spoon and keep mixing everything together for about 30 seconds to one minute. You're gonna have to do this until the dough, uh, until all the elements combine together and you end up with a nice ball of dough that is smooth. And another important element, it should dry. So you're gonna have to be doing this until you end up with a very thin uh, layer of flour on the bottom of your saucepan. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and transfer the dough into the mixing bowl. You can use a machine or a hand mixer. If you are using a machine, go ahead and use the paddle attachment and start mixing the dough to help it cool faster and it should be cooled before you add the eggs. Whisk your eggs in separate bowl and start adding them gradually to your uh, dough to make the pâte à choux. By the time you have incorporated all the eggs, you will end up with this kind of texture. It should make a ribbon when you pull it up. It kind of slowly pulls down and not so fast. And this is the perfect texture you want to have. Go ahead and transfer the dough into a piping bag. Next step is to pipe the pata shoes on a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. They don't have to be this exact same size, but if you make them bigger, think of adjusting the baking time. I do wet my finger slightly and pushing down this uh, pointy part so that they don't burn. The oven should be preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. That's 356 degrees Fahrenheit and they take about 30 minutes to bake. They should be well baked and golden brown in order for them not to fall and collapse after baking. And next step, we're going to be making the delicious custard cream or crème pâtissière. First, add the milk to a saucepan. To it, add about one tablespoon of the sugar we have already measured uh, for the recipe. Then bring it on a medium heat and allow it to simmer. In a separate bowl, add the rest of the sugar to the egg yolks and mix everything together till the cream thickens and turns white. Then go ahead and add the cornstarch and mix again until it's combined. And as soon as the milk starts simmering, we're gonna remove it from the heat and start adding it gradually to our cream mixture that we have just prepared of egg yolks, sugar, and cornstarch. The best way to do this is to add a little amount of milk at a time while mixing to kind of bring the temperature high without cooking the egg yolks. And once you have a thin uh, texture, go ahead and add the cream to the rest of the hot milk, whisk everything together and bring it again on the stove and it's important that you keep continuously whisking while it's cooking on a medium heat for it not to stick to the bottom until you have a nice thick cream texture then go ahead remove it from the heat add the butter immediately while it's still hot and keep whisking 
And we're going to be using this base of custard cream to make both the vanilla one and the chocolate one. And we're going to be doing this by simply dividing the cream into two portions. To the chocolate one, I added some chocolate. But you're going to have to do this immediately while the cream is still hot for it to melt. I personally love the combination of dark chocolate and a slight amount of milk chocolate so that it's not too strong and not too sweet. But of course, if you have a preference, go ahead and use what you prefer. Don't forget to refer to the exact amounts down in the description box with the recipe. And for the vanilla cream or the vanilla version, I used some vanilla powder that I have that tastes really good. You can use vanilla extract, vanilla sugar, or whatever you prefer. Also very important, you're gonna have to cover the creams with a plastic that comes in contact with the cream and allow them to cool. Once the custard cream sets and cools, it gets thicker, so use a hand mixer or a blender to make them again creamy. Now go ahead and transfer the cream into a piping bag. And uh, for my piping bag, I use this very thin nozzle. There are also extra ones for filling. They just have to be very thin. I highly recommend you to figure out beforehand how many puff uh, pastries you need before you start filling them. Then divide them and fill the half with vanilla cream and the other half with the chocolate cream. And now to the best and most exciting part, we're going to be assembling the dessert. As a first layer and a base, I used half of the amount of the cream of vanilla I have left. And I'm going to be adding my filled patashu. And as I said, I'm going to be alternating uh, between the ones filled with vanilla cream and the ones filled with chocolate cream. And fit as many as you can to make a nice full layer of the patashu. And now that I see it, I could actually have a fitted another patashu for that layer. Okay, too late. Go ahead and add another layer of half of the chocolate custard cream you have left after filling the patashu. And as you see in the video, I'm just going to be filling the space between the patashus with even more cream and repeat um, the same thing. Another layer of the patashu and the vanilla and the chocolate again until um, until we have used all the pata shoes and the cream we have. Once it's finished, place it in the fridge to stay cool and let's prepare the ganache. For my ganache, I use the combination of dark and white chocolate. I'm going to be making a simple ganache by heating the cream. You can do that on the stove or in the microwave and add it into the chocolate. Once you pour the hot cream, allow it to rest for about 30 seconds, then take a spatula and start mixing your ganache until you have a smooth texture. As soon as the ganache is ready and while it's still runny, pour it over the profiteroles and make sure it covers the whole surface of the dessert. For the last component or the last step, we're going to be making a simple whipped cream to top the dessert. So you're simply going to mix your uh, heavy cream that should be very cold right out of the fridge with some powdered sugar and vanilla extract until it forms uh, stiff peaks. Once the cream is nice and stiff, I'm going to be adding it to my piping bag and pipe it randomly on the top of my uh, ganache or my dessert. For decoration, it's up to you. I used some chocolate flakes, you can use some shredded chocolate or even some cocoa powder whatever you have available, whatever you like. 
and I would highly recommend you to make it in advance and allow it to sit for a few hours in the fridge or even better overnight for the custard cream to sit again and for all the flavors to combine together and then you get the best dessert. I really hope that you like today's recipe and you give it a try. I'm sure you're going to love it. And if you do, please let me know how it turned out. I'm always happy to read your feedback on Instagram or here in the comment section. But in any case, I'm always more than happy to read from you guys and to connect with you. I thank you for the support. I thank you for watching the video and I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever a new recipe is up. See you soon in a new video and happy baking!